Fragile X syndrome is the most common form of inherited mental retardation. Um, and it's actually quite common, more common than you think. It's affecting maybe one in 3,500 males and one in 6,000 females. The reason these people are getting this disease is because they are missing a normal cellular protein which has been named the Fragile X mental retardation protein. Through a collaboration that we established with uh, a group in Belgium, uh, they have isolated a patient who exhibits all the symptoms of the Fragile X syndrome. However, he, uh, when his gene has been sequenced, he does produce the Fragile X mental retardation protein, but there is a mutation in that. So one area of my research is now to try to understand why that mutated protein is producing Fragile X. So what is altered in the function of the protein? Is it the RNA binding properties? or is it the, the way it's exerting the translational regulator function? And one of my undergraduates, Sara Katrancha, is working on this aspect of the project. As far as the specific work that I do, um, we use biochemical and biophysical methods to characterize the binding of this protein, and we are the only ones that are specifically doing that with the protein. However, our collaborator is the only other one who is working with the mutation specifically, and I ended up working in this lab because I wanted to research genetic disorders coming into college. My brother was actually born with a genetic disorder that has a similar view as the Fragile X syndrome. I actually talked to Dr. Rita the summer before my freshman year here at Duquesne University. Um, I've always been a very goal-driven student and I knew that I wanted to do research when I came to school. So I called her to inquire about the research program and the opportunities here at Duquesne. And she gave me great reviews and great information. And when I came to school, she actually wanted to meet with me and we discussed working in her lab. And I started in January of my freshman year doing research here under a graduate student who has since graduated, um, but she helped me learn the techniques of the lab and learn how to do the experiments so that now I can be fully independent and run my own experiments.